us hear your your uh, your two cents. Okay. Me on here. I want to say, Rise being here toast. I don't think you can take credit for that. I can take credit for that, Rise. Can I take credit for you being here? Uh, well, you did message me, so I actually came over to this server versus um the other one because so, you messaged me. So, just to be yes. clear, right? If I yeah. had not, you would, you wouldn't be here, right? Um, I probably would have gone to the other one first, um, because it's first on the list when I look up, so, yeah. So, no, I, w I would say yes. But you already have the server link. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I already have the server link. I've already been here for a while, so. Yeah, I was like, I was, was going to stop by, link. yeah. I would stop by anyways, um, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, she said she's going to stop by anyways. Yeah, this is why I'm like, oh, oh. The thing is, like, timing-wise, it was good timing-wise, and I stopped this is, first because... Was we're, 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 we're taking the, this from the woman who says it should take an atlas to a fucking island, even if she, she couldn't get off it. Hey. <laughs> What's Why not? Hell, aren't we the one that's sending rockets into space? So and, like, <laughs> satellites <laughs> way out to... What? Well, I mean, obviously, at some point, I would have come over. Like, you messaged me that I should come over. So. Yeah, well, I, th I think yeah. that I think that my message is like um, crucial in you being here right now. I think you would have come back in a week or so, or however long. But I think I expedited that process by reaching out to you. Um. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's solid. Hell yeah! That's uh, Yeah, it kind of you know it helps like yeah helps frame the picture and yeah. So, yeah, whatever. So, no, I think I think Orson's. There, there's like several people that kind of you know make the server function, and like I think that over it's it's interesting to see how like different people over time in the server. I don't know. This server is just oh for sure interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting. Yeah. Speaking mm -hmm. of interesting, um, Mr. Orson, uh, I'd like I'd like a um a summation. The information of what you know about the user known as like Alexi, or the guy with the giant eye, as PFP. Yes. Um, he um, he says he's got like a fairly well family. He hasn't worked for a long time due to that or other assets. Um, he says he's a creative. He wants intellectual property. Um, he's got cool sunglasses and drives a Honda. Um, but all of these claims of like money or intellectual property hasn't been justified. Have you seen his videos? No, not really, no. I've seen one you video where he roasted Joe Vaughn. Oh, that's interesting. You, you should check out his YouTube channel. I know we will sometime, yeah. However, I, I still find it very worrisome that you have not come to the conclusion that he's like psychologically unhinged yet. So no, tell really? me when you figure that out. Yo, know, you, you talking, about, you talking about me there, Toast? Oh, yeah. Toast, well, so I, I mentioned you by name, dumb fuck. I, I'm saying, let's maybe, maybe you get on camera again and see if you open your mouth, because you didn't say shit when you were on camera. You sat there like a fucking see, see, dumbass. Check, check this out. Look at, look at him. I'm look just saying you said you were talking, you were screaming at, at me. I have videos of you screaming, and then you just sat Keep there crying. as soon as you got on camera. Keep you crying. wouldn't say, I'm not crying, I'm talking. You wouldn't say Keep a crying. word. You're like, at best, you're a fucking, like... Mid IQ fucking pretty boy, and you were screaming at me for nothing. So I decided to fucking roast the shit out of you. It's no big deal. I was trying to do some work just now. Like, I heard you fucking talk about me. Talk about anything else. Say something, Toast. Once in your life, say oh something. No, it's, I, I don't trust you being in here. Trust me. At all. It's all there. Everything I've said, everything I've written, it's all there. Every word. You're not, <laughs> Toast, you're not... You're making you're, sense right now? To, what am I not making sense? You're not super bright. You're a troll. You're, you're going you're, to be kicked out of this community. Come out of high I don't think so. You're, you're a like, fucking troll. Over my dead you're body, a will you troll. Stay here? Over your dead body? No, that's, that sounds pretty threatening. You're a troll. Can you just stop? You don't know oh, shit. No. This you know, is, these toast, are, uh... Toast, you haven't been here in days. You, got, you talk shit, talk shit. You were sucking on Seth's dick. You started screaming at me for asking one <laughs> question. It's on the record. You are a fucking mid-IQ troll. Please stop. Please. I'm not gonna stop. Alex, I'm not gonna stop. I just said please, just like so they can see, like who's unhinged. You can't. You're just like obsessed with different oh, people because yeah. you have no content. You, you, you have no content to your character. 
You have no content in your mind. What do you want me to say? You can talk shit? No content in my mind. Close, I've roasted you before. Mind. I've embarrassed the shit out of you, and it's on the record. Why don't you stop? Why, you, just, you haven't been here in days, right? I haven't uh, seen I'm you. Not, I'm not going to stop, Alex. I'm not. I'm literally not. Well, you go back to Tom's or wherever you came from. You haven't been here talking for shit in quite a while. Since you sat there on camera like a fucking dummy, you haven't been here. No editing, you just sat there like a fucking moron. What do you want me to do? You're, you start this. Like a moron. Fucking snow. Like a moron. Like a moron. That's what you did. You want me to, you want me to show you again? You want to see yourself? You want to hear yourself suck yeah, yeah, Seth's dick? Yeah, give me the video. Give me the video. When I get out of the shower, well, I'm kneeling on my fucking bed, about to go to fucking sleep. I'll take a shower. I'll find the video if I remember it. If not, tomorrow. I'm not going anywhere, bro. You are going somewhere. Don't worry. Toast, I don't, I'm not simple like you, okay? I don't have a hinge to go off of, right? I'm multi-dimensional. Yeah, you, yeah, I, I, I would do that statement. You don't have a hinge. Toast, what do you do? Because I'm a fucking freelancer. I'm a free mind. What do you do, Toast? I'm a, I'm a free mind. I'm a freelancer. Toast, I, listen. I can't tell you. Right, because it's so important. Wait, wait, wait. Your name is fucking this, Toast. The, the psychotic patient. Your name is Toast. Toast the toy. You call me out. You call me out. You fucking name check me. Orson, you want to see the IP verified? We'll have a talk if you want to, and you'll know for sure. That there's no joke there. The reason I am the way I am is because I have the IP I have. We can talk about it tomorrow. You'll see. And, and if you don't think that I'm a fucking genius when I tell you some of my IP, then, then ban me. Absolutely. Yeah, ban do you, me. Do you hear him say that, right? Like, like a qualifier. Like, I went into Tom's. I went genius. into Tom's and they called like, me a fucking so idiot. totally connected to the idea that I've, he is intelligent. Not, uh, and he's clinging to this idea. I'm not clinging to it. Like, I always, really I always unhealthy. have been. I always he, have been. He, every he, test he, I've ever taken. Every school I've ever been in. Okay, what are you talking you should, about? You keep, talk, you keep talking. Well, because you, you, you attack me and, I, and I'm an SJW, I get a little bit triggered when a fucking little kid who cannot open his mouth on camera because he's fucking scared to look like an ignorant fuck talks shit now. What do, you, what do you know about that Alex guy? Shut the fuck up. Talk to somebody else. I don't want to talk no, to you. I, I, I want Orson to account for you. I Orson, want Orson to for, what, for what? For what? what? I mean, he's your response. You are his responsibility as far as I'm concerned. Well, I'm a father of two what fucking mean? beautiful, brilliant kids. Would you, Orson, do you... I don't give a shit about your kids, buddy. I'm just saying. You're saying that. Like, as I don't like, keep I guess, saying it. I just like fucking said it. Or, it doesn't know, make me bitch. intelligent. I'm a, I'm a decent dude, and I don't have to be a low-level fucking negatrol. I'm a positrol. You don't even know these words. Because you just sit there and troll. You're a nega troll. You react positive to troll. other people's... A positive troll and a person who posits red meat for fucking pieces of shit like you who call people well, out because they got know, nothing... You, just, you can't stop talking. Nothing. Why would I Make stop point, shut up. talking? I was quiet all night. I was writing. I was working on my fucking book. You are a piece of shit who calls people out and has no content. Yeah, keep not, crying. Not creatively. Like for you. Not creatively. You, you're calling Orson out. Orson didn't do shit. Orson's a good dude. Not, I'm not sucking no, him. Orson's I, been totally to cool for weeks. Anything that you do, I'm calling Orson accountable Okay, great. For. Orson's been cool as shit for weeks. He's never fucking talked you know, shit about anybody. Whenever somebody asks him, he talks to them. He explains his decisions. And you say you don't fucking trust him. You don't trust Fia? What's I, I don't give a shit what you think about Orson either. What is he? As far as I'm concerned, what you, you really don't have any thoughts or intentions. I gotta, I gotta flip this camera. What are, you, what are you fucking worried about, by the way? What is it? Tell me anything. You think I, what, tell me. I'm not, talk, I'm not talking to you. I was talking to Orson, dumbass. About me. While I'm right, yes, fuck, while, while I'm right fucking here. And I don't, I don't know if there's anything you could, I'm yeah, sure I'm, you could I'm go. I'm not going to engage you. I'm not going to engage you in anything like substantive. Okay. Right. Because you are, you're too, you're too high. You're, you're too bright. Right? You're too bright. No, it's not that. It's you're too that smart. I, I, you're too I, I practiced. Can't trust you at the, whatsoever. For, with what? Because I record. It's all there. You want to go back years and see all of it? I'm not afraid. You, you got nothing, right? You got nothing. Everything you did is hidden. Fuck off. You got nothing. I told Fia, I told Tom the first minute I was in there, I'm like, I fucking, I work, I'm a writer, I capture my screen or I capture video when I'm working, when I'm talking, I have all of it because I'm proud of what I do, okay? I told you Why before to sit down, to you sat down for days because I'm fucking tired and I was about to go to fucking bed, I was writing and I hear somebody fucking call me out and it's somebody that's proven themselves from the very beginning to be a Seth dick sucker and a shit talker. I don't care if you trust Seth me, I don't care if you trust me, this is a voice chat, are you serious? It's a voice chat. All oh, very serious. I, I saw you. I saw you. I can go right now. I can look at your face and you just fucking sit there with fucking drooling. Uh huh. Toast. I'm overwhelming and annoying. There's nothing to really worry about. If you want to worry about me, that's fine. Okay. I, I can't do anything about it. I offered to talk to you. You fucking screamed at me. Nothing I can do. You want to see, why don't you tell everyone here you didn't fucking scream at me? Why don't you just lie out of your fucking face, you fake? I think 
I screamed at you? You were, ba- I mean, I can scream a lot louder than the fucking little girl you sounded like, but yeah. You tried to fucking just drown me out by screaming because you were trying to ask Seth questions. You should hear you. Did you listen to yourself? Do you listen to the tone in your voice? You realize how you suck dick of some people yeah. and you attack other people to try to get a position in a server? It's pathetic. Yeah, this guy literally can kill a server. Yeah. Who's that? Who's that? Von? Crete? Who was that? I can kill a server? I was quiet the whole time. I wasn't going to talk at all. I was doing my shit. No, but see, how, see, how, see how easy it was to get you talking, get you going? What, what, what's wrong with being? Like, I'm triggerable. Word-wise, I, I fucking work with words. What do you work with? I, I work with words. What do you work I, with? I, I kind of want you to keep talking about. You work with words? You must not make shit. Like, I wish Orson was still here to hear your, hear your stuff right now. Pretty what's left, that? Like, little bitch. A little bit. I'm just responding to, you know, a projectionist. No, no, as in, like, I was engaging Orson about you, and then he decided to bow out. Yeah, Orson, the guy who was saying how little you trust him and how you think he's a piece of shit, for what? You know, you said you didn't trust no, him either. No, as in, like, you still don't get it, do you? There's you nothing to get. You said the same thing to Orson that you said to me, and then you started talking about Oh, me. no, it's, it's very different between you two. Right, but you don't trust I either one of us. I can still respect Orson as, like, an interlocutor, right? He's still, like, you know, psychologically sane and, and or stable. You're not. You're, you're, you're at a pay grade to fucking judge me. Toast. You're at a, you're, how, how, when? It's insane. I'll tell you, any day, dude, we can set up. Yeah, Jovan's gone. Do you have any money? See you later, fucker. Jovan's gone, so he runs away. I'm sorry for that, dude. And he, that, that dude is, I can show you what I'm talking about. I don't eat shit from fucking little kids, sorry. It's, uh, it's interesting to, like, I don't know. I, I really love Discord and, and like, this place in particular. It's been great. Yeah, it's, really it's, cool. it's, been yeah. re- it's been really cool here, but he has been, I've seen him do nothing but talk shit here, and then he's barely here, and fuck toast. I have no quite, I have no interest. Like, he sat there smiling, he's like, he's a good looking guy, he could be a funny, negatroll character, but he doesn't have anything, and he talks shit about people just to get a rise for no, uh, sorry to use your name enough, but just to get, for no reason, he's just exciting himself, he's basically masturbating by talking about other people and creating bullshit so he can, so he can talk more shit. Yeah, I mean, I think that, like, people just need to allow the conversation. Like, I don't think you can restrict this server much at all. Like, there's no real tolerance for it because it's the anti-establishment of the anti-establishment, you know? Like, it's because people come here because they are they don't want to be there. So it's like bit shoot or, you know, whatever, deciding that they're going to crack down and censor it's, you know, you lose, you just lose your entire base to someone else, you know. Right. If you can get them all to do that, you lose your server. I mean, you, or you kill the server. Did you see the two little videos I sent you? I mean, they're nothing. They're very short, but, like, I, I really don't like, especially if someone starts saying, like, Tom did and just calls me crazy. Tom's not that fucking smart either. He's just not. He's not an idiot, but someone comes in and d- doesn't understand what you're saying. Like, I'm an inventor, and he just assumes that I'm a piece of shit because people in Tom's jumped on me. Like, like a fucking feeding frenzy. So, I mean, I, I like a lot of people here. There's been really good shit here. Orson, I'm sorry that any of that, but he, he called me out. He said he didn't trust you. He said he didn't trust Fia. He just doesn't trust me, and he puts my presence in the server on your shoulders. For what? For what? <laughs> I might type too well, much. Yeah, but I mean, if, he, if you're a totally reasonable guy who's moderating a server and answering everyone's fucking questions and being really nice to people, and he just comes and don't trust you guys in that fucking weaselly little tone, and then he says it about me, I'm gonna think, wait, Orson's cool, I'm cool. What, what is this dude coming yeah, in here? He's just... a meanie. Ain't that right, Layla? He's <laughs> a meanie, yeah. It's like, is that that big of a deal that there are people who are, like, open and sensitive in the world and that you can trigger them? Like, if you're just gonna do that over and over, what, what, is, what is your point? 
No, Rise, you're fine. They're just stupid little, they're just silly little videos about Tom. Everybody, like, whatever. Tom is fine. Tom is in my world. Like, I've been in, around this community for a year. Tom's a character who I probably never get to fully have fall out of my brain. So I make fun of him. And when I'm done with my shit, if it works as well as it's supposed to, then Tom can be somebody in a tiny, tiny, tiny way. I am super snowflakey, though. As you see, I get excited pretty quick if someone talks shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I really, like, find that the internet, you just see it more and more, like, I don't know, the gap spreads further and further. Like, you see how, like, the more you time you spend online, the more retarded people see. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Well, and then that happens, the more people lower their perspective, the more they lower their mind's horizon, the more you see shit, the more you think you have to look down, you know? Most people I see, they aim so low that... Sorry, what's up? Well, like, I think that you can tell it by if someone smokes pot, for instance, like, you know how people get really kind of dumb on it and slow and, like, they get really distracted and stuff? Like, I think that's how people are more and more acting generally in life because they don't understand, like, the distractions. They don't understand, like, what's actually affecting them in any real way. So they just follow, you know? Yeah, I have a different yeah. react. I'm a, I'm a weed smoker, but I smoke very small amounts, and I and I get I have what's called weed ADHD, and I like. I, I, you start saying everything connects. Yeah. I I get very hyper. I like I I mean I was born hyper as shit, but like I get more hyper when I smoke, and I'm trying to finish the fucking book, so I'm just trying to work as much as I can, and I don't I don't like silence that much. It's amazing how how music sounds like, um, and you know. Uh, like when you're like it, it does make you super hyper because like you do perceive a bunch of things and if you can intake it and understand it and try to comprehend it like that's what you can do as opposed to like actual regular like you're trying to quantify everything you're trying to like understand conceptually things and you're just perceiving like the um kind of the general acceleration and deceleration of things like the change or change of things um and if you don't understand it, you just have to, like, kind of walk it out and ride with it. Um, but, like, if you do kind of get out, like, then you start to kind of perceive. And I think that the Internet helps with that, too, like, just in kind of seeing connections. It's not like there's any conspiracy. You just kind of realize that certain things, like, come together for a certain reason. and You can't know exactly how much influence it's having, but, you know, you have to deal with the, that fact that... You know, there's constantly, like, all these forces that are dangerous or not or whatever. You have to figure out, like, how to position yourself constantly. You're treading water. Yeah, I mean, I'm... Uh, I'm I, is that just me coming through you? I thought someone else was talking. I think that's just me, like, when you let go. <laughs> I thought some other guy was talking, but I think that's an echo. You're on Push to Talk, right? Uh, yeah, I'm on Push to Talk, but my headphones just died. Um, no, you're cool. You're probably yeah. holding beer for a few minutes. It was good meeting you, though. I think I think I met you in the past at some point, or somebody had said something like, talk to Rise, I think. Maybe not. What? That would talk to me? I thought I did at some point, but there's a lot of names on here. I mean, I, I've, <laughs> I don't even know how many people I've fucking spoken to on Discord. It's a lot. But this, I mean, these, some of these rooms, you just get yeah. caught up in rooms that are, that are a little bit like a family. It's kind of like being at an extended Thanksgiving or something. And, I, and the internet's a yeah. great place to, to humble yourself. In reality, people don't talk to me this way for the most part. Occasionally, people will always talk shit. But the internet, people really talk a lot of extra shit to me. And it's fun. It's humbling, to, I mean, to a degree, to, like, realize what it's like. And, I mean, the internet's worse. You've got a lot of people out there that are just erasist, right? They're not even racist in real life. They just say it online, like, to feel like they're free. <laughs> like, they're not really racist. They would never say the n-word in front of a black person like most of these people in here if they met a few of my friends and half my friends are white whatever but like they would get the shit beat out of them in, like badly if they said that word and they were white they would just they, and I've never punched somebody in the face in my life but I have friends who are black who would just I mean they wouldn't kill you but you'd be fucked up and on the internet you can just say trigger 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 I don't think it's freedom I think it's weakness like when you gotta talk down to somebody else it means you don't got something better to say or you're trying to like build a server with drummer I could I can't kill a server. I'm not that powerful, but maybe I don't help. 
if you want, you know, a bunch of people to hang out and say a bunch of fucking ignorant shit, I might, you know, open my mouth sometimes. My kids are half brown. Like, I don't, I don't, you know, my son can call himself a hybrid word that rhymes with vigor, but I can't, and I wouldn't. I did it once to my kid's mom, because she's Arabian, it was not a good idea. I was just joking, it didn't cause a serious problem, but I'm not saying that word ever again. And if you, if you're for freedom, it's fine, it doesn't, it, I haven't heard it said with hate, it doesn't really bother me, if people start saying faggot, like, and they hate somebody, or like, when they called Alex a pedophile, like, I wouldn't take that. Yeah, well, I mean, I think it's like, at that point, either the person is being trolling you because they know the word's going to bug you, um, and at that point it's just joking, or they actually believe it. If they actually believe it, like, it's important that you understand their rationale and figure out how to correct that, because that's how you can actually argue effectively for your position. So, like, for me, I'd rather someone would just say things. Like, I think... The women men thing too. I think that really needs to be brought in the forefront. That women are different than men. Women do tend to a certain direction, and that needs to be understood and addressed as opposed to covered up. You know what I mean? Like, there's certain things that do need to be talked about openly and you know scientifically. Uh, but when you let like again, like, why does a word have that much power? Because I've, like, seen, I don't I've say seen it. And I don't say it. Yeah, I don't say it on these servers because I would get banned, you know? Like, I could get banned by Discord. It's not about the server itself. It's about, you know what I mean? So, yeah, and I'm no on, real benefit, yeah. I'm on. I'm also, I don't, it doesn't bother me that that much. I'm also, like, I've been archiving my shit for so long, and my kids will see it, and it, I believe the work I do is going to be really fucking popular. And I don't, I really don't want people... To just like see it slide all the time and never like make a statement like I respect your right to fucking I guess say whatever you want it is better to have people saying e even evil shit than to have them hide it and then blow up some shit right like you'd rather have them you'd rather know who they are and if people say certain things and you got to stop them there's not an unlimited freedom of speech you cannot promote violence there's things you just and and if you, see, you know, remember when Trump said there's good people on both sides there's shitty people on both sides but on the side of people who say the word it rhymes with bigger, you have like 90% of the shitty people. Social, ju social justice warriors don't want to hurt anybody. They, they, they don't want to hurt anybody. They're not like, de Democrats don't want to kill babies. It's fucking stupid shit. Like, they're, I mean, I understand the gripes against SJWs, but most of them just actually care about their friends who, are like, who have some issue and are being like fucked with and abused and... and and, and, and they overreact and they try to push the SJW shit a little bit too far. But those people are better than people who are slurring other people just to fucking hurt them and make themselves feel better. That's not really good people shit. If you're doing it for fun and you don't mean it, it's not a big deal. I think. But I don't like it anyways, personally. But it's not my server. I'm just a, you know, I'm just a squirrel. It's, it's a girl's world. Not on Discord, though. Like, the thing, though, is... Why is the word bug you to hear? And it's like either someone who's actually racist, um, or I mean, it's a joke. So why is it that we're even allowing it to have any degree of power? And it, do you know what I mean? Like, why does it matter? Um, you know, why is it such a bad, like, but we have to actually discuss that as a country. I think that's what we need to discuss as opposed to, like, just silencing it. Why are people using it? You know, why is it that we're reacting in that way to discrepancies in, um, you know, the position of, of different races as opposed to looking at the problem and trying to actually, you know, because you have a lot of people who are minorities growing up in low-income areas, why are we not ensuring that money's going to fostering low income across the board, why aren't we coming up with measures that, you know, like overall would disproportionately benefit people that were low income, so would therefore, do, like, why, why not approach it from the perspective of not race and approach it more from the perspective of, you know, allowing the best to benefit, um, making sure that everyone gets that opportunity that serves it. I mean, that's, that's the goal. It's not, I don't, I don't try to talk about it. You know, it's not something I think about. 
I, I'm, but I, I mean, I've based my creative work. Part of it is like, I'm a very sensitive person. I realize if you want to be, if you want to be a visionary, right, you don't want to put a bunch of glasses on your face. Like you don't want to have a bunch of layers and super thick skin. You want to be open so you can receive more of the light of the universe and have a greater understanding. The more naked you become, the, the more easy it is to strike you. Like without defense mechanisms, and I don't have a ton of them, um, human beings are very, they're very sensitive. They're very emotional creatures. Like we're very emotional creatures, unbelievably. I like it because it's, it's, if I allow that exposure emotionally, which hurts me uh, quite a bit, my mind, my emotions are contained in my mind, right? So by not covering up that one side, I help to keep the whole damn thing open. And I aim really high, so I need that openness. I need every grain of genius that God gave me to succeed at what I'm doing. And it's important. I mean, this is, like, I, I mean, I don't think this is a simulation. That's the thing, your, the internet lets you perceive is the connection between people, right? The way we connect with each other. You know, what, what is that reflecting? The internet. True, you know? true. So the internet's reflecting the energy that, you know, people are using to change a society. It's like, you know, it's like the comet's tail. Um, and that, like, we're actually, we're, we're just, like, going through time we're perceiving change but if you're able to like perceive what's changing that and able to affect that that's all that gives you any sort of individuality or any free will if you know if you can exist but like i mean you're actually if you're perceiving you know if you can perceive what's perceiving change and then you can see how you may be able to affect that you know then you're kind of getting in the realm of like really being able to influence the world around you in ways that you can understand that other people can't. Um, because otherwise, like, I mean, if you have nothing to offer, then, like, you're kind of just, like, you know, a high-functioning animal. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't know. I mean, we, it's, we're, we're, I, we might just be high-functioning animals. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's, oh, my God, this isn't happening. Seth. Happen. What happened? What do you mean? Rise or me? What just? What's going on? A real conversation between two people? What's up? Sam, what the fuck? We let this happen. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's just. Seth, he was talking to you. The toast was talking to you the other day, though, and just like you literally, like, he sounded like a dog. Like, and he, like, just he, like worshipped you. I started thinking, how smart is Seth? Like the way he was talking up to you, and then he just like turned at me and talked straight down. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? Thanks. Thanks for interrupting, though. I mean, I appreciate Sorry. it. Sorry. No, not you. I mean, Mr. Seth Mc. Oh, there he goes. I've had so I've had some really good conversations on Discord that quite a decent percentage of the people in the room like thought were were terrible, you know, and like that. And with the positive reinforcement I've gotten from my work, I start to think maybe that's how it is. I got a friend when I like he's, he's this black kid, and he tries to do freestyle and rap and shit. And every time, every time. I spit a great rhyme, right? He says you're garbage every time. It's like it's like Pavlov, and there's no like I'm I've been a poet for fucking decades. Every time he says I'm garbage, he says you've never been creative, and I'm like, wow, I just I, I don't even have to pay attention to my own rhymes. All I have to do is look at him. Always happens. And that's like, see, see, that's the thing. It's like you can you realize that like I mean it makes sense. Sound waves, light waves, like all of these would impact each other to some degree as time goes on. And so if you're just able to actually like perceive that more in tune, you know, you may be able to align yourself better in understanding kind of, so it's kind of like go with the flow, but more from a scientific perspective. Um, I don't know for me actually rationalizing that made more sense. Otherwise I'd get so paranoid, you know, uh, like. Or son. Can I tell you, um, you know, um, I used to receive a lot of flack, like what you're describing, you're receiving nowadays. Did you know that? Who? Yeah. Alex. Like, so Alex is saying that people are always, like, talking down to him, telling him he's crazy, or um, saying he's not intelligent, like, saying it's, he's not creative, all this sort of stuff. Did you know, like, I used to have a similar treatment. It's not most people. It, it's pretty harsh sometimes. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I didn't know that. You do seem like a person who's been through something that made him think and try to be more reasonable. 
Well, I think um, see a lot of it won't be honest, as in a lot of this criticism that you get won't be honest. But it'll be um, so there will there will be some honest criticism that they could give you. Um, but like me, I think you've rubbed a few people up the wrong way, and until you manage to patch that up, they're always going to be overly critical rather than like honestly critical of you. Right. It's, I mean, it's, I, I had to learn how to do it, man. I had to go through these years of work that I've done to get to the place I'm, that I'm at when I can even stand up to the, you know, fully stand up to the people. I've always been like, I was a little kid. I would like give people gum and candy and I was always trying to kiss everyone's ass, right? I was like, like oh, I want friends. I want to be so nice. Like, and, and, and then I said, I, I got into this work and I said, it's really about what you say, right? All the, the content of your character and, the, and your words, it's all that matters. And then I realized if nobody listens, it doesn't matter. You know, so I'm getting to the point when well, I can start a, to deal with them. It's a balance of those two things. Right, right. It's like, uh, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't try and please everyone, but you should at the same time uh, um, to like, be social with people in the sense of like compromise to please them to a certain extent. And also it is a balance of your character and, and uh, pleasing people, basically. And I want to tell you as well that like, um, until you make friends with these people, you can't expect honesty out of them. I mean, I've been talking to them for like, I don't know, for a year. I mean, there's, I have friends. I have friends in here. Like, it doesn't take very long. It's just my, my demographic in a room where a lot of people are going to go negative and probably drag me into it is, is a little bit smaller. Um, it's all good. I mean, I, I hear what you're saying. I, I, I mean, how are you? You're, I think, a lot younger than me, though, right? Or how old are you? Uh, 28, oh. 29 I guess by your age, I'd gone through some. It's not everybody. It's just, this is the thing. The sum of us, right? The sum of us is numb as fuck, right? There's this tremendous sheep pull. It, pull, and it pulls people towards the herd. They're like the emperor penguins. You know, they need to get away from the cold or whatever. So when, when most people you meet act like idiots, even if the world made them look like idiots, you're just going to, people get numbed out and they start literally looking down on every person they meet they have the opposite of great expectations if you look down on people like me you don't see anything like you like i, I had a really good mom like i'm a really decent person i never i've never hit a person like you look down on me like i'm a piece of shit and there's literally nothing there and then you're like he's nothing right he's and he thinks he's something and then they just go fuck they go for the kill and, and they're not going to kill me, so it's fine. It's all, it's all good. It's, it's beautiful, actually. Like, Discord is a great tool. I have to talk to people in real life more in much larger numbers, and they won't, they won't say a word. Maybe there'll be one heckler. You know, I've dealt with thousands of hecklers in the last, like, two years of practice, so. And they're like, he's fucking unhinged. I'm like, what, what is it e exactly? I mean, I say I'm a pre-science fiction writer, and like, then half of the population just stops listening. They're like, I don't know that word. Like, I don't know what pre-science means i don't know what prescience is i certainly don't know what pre-science fiction is you must be crazy and <laughs> that's how it is for now but i mean it's, my, it's our job if you i mean if you're a creative you gotta you gotta evolve i, I don't I think, want sorry I think, Go ahead. I think a lot of people judge people's intelligence by their social interactions like that it's almost like every, it's typical for people to premise that if someone is uh, of but, well, demonstrates that they maintain positive relationships. That's like a prerequisite from being intelligent because most intelligent people maintain good relationships. Yeah, I don't have the greatest SQ. Um, I mean, I'm like a, I'm like a two autistic. I am sensitive. Um, and, and, I, and long ago, I chose to be a student of the truth. I literally listened to my mom. I, I'm sure most of us did, but you go through adolescence, things change. I just, I'm not saying I don't lie, but I don't, I don't remember, like, I try really hard to, to, to be a, I actually lost the, the, why I was saying that, but the truth is, is my God. Like, honesty is my God. And people are just like, I can show you a video of two hours of Tom screaming, like a lot of screaming, like just telling me everything I'm saying is a lie and I can prove all of it, but how am I going to prove all of it? And then should I even do that? Right. Should I not, if they're going to be psychos and, and sociopaths and I'm a writer and I'm a kid, the, uh, well, why not just capture it? And then when I publish, I can say to academics, here's 25,000 hours. Like, what, look what it was like from uh, the year 1996 and, until 2020. Like, meet brilliant people on the Internet every day if you're conscientious, you know, but you, you will run into probably 10 negatrolls for every one positrol you find. And you got to do it, though. You got to find those good people. You got to network. 
Like I just, I think I, Rise was saying some things, defending, like talking against conspiracy bullshit. And I started to listen. I'm like, Rise is an intelligent person who gives a shit and doesn't probably thinks too much. But if you think too much, I don't mind if you talk too much. It's people who don't think too, enough who talk too much. Those are the ones that really bother me. And people are used to that too. And I'll throw, I'll fill my words up with shit. So a lot of people have small, ram, like they don't have a lot of RAM in their brains. So you talk enough and you talk fast enough and you include new like intellectual equity and they just, their RAM fills up and they shut down. So even if it's not a social thing, sometimes their intelligence is just of a kind that, that doesn't absorb very quickly and you overwhelm them. And if you overwhelm something, someone and they lose you or they get lost by you, they're going to blame you every time. Nobody's ever been like, oh, I got lost because I don't know. They're like, I got yeah, lost. Person. Why did you leave earlier? Why did I leave? Yeah. Oh, um, Ryan wanted to ask me about something. Fine. Sorry if, um, see, I didn't, so you ended up like half, like five minutes into talking to Alex, you said that you were trying to talk to me, and I had already clocked out because I didn't realize you were still trying to talk to me, I'm sorry. I was, yeah, I was trying to round back up, out to you. No.